Netflix is growing their catalog of anime. Every season, a few shows need to serve their time in jail until Netflix thinks they've been good enough and learned English. While we wait for whatever new shows, Netflix continues to add older shows for us to rewatch or finally get around to watching. With the sentence they're forced to serve, a lot of Netflix anime tend to fly under the radar, missing the seasonal hype that might have helped them succeed on another platform. Well, another platform that isn't Amazon. This week we're talking about possibly one of the most overlooked Netflix anime. Ingress being based on a mobile game and being full CGI, it could have used all the seasonal hype possible. Unlike the bad reception Be The Beginning got, or the small yet positive reviews of Sirius the Jaeger, Ingress the Animation doesn't really have that many people talking. So what could an anime based on a mobile game bring for story that's interesting enough to drag me away from my current D-Gray Man obsession? In this world, an element from another dimension called XM flows into our world in areas called portals. Some people are born with the ability to interact with XM and gain special powers from those interactions. They are called sensitives. Our main character, Makoto, is one of those sensitives. His entire life people have avoided him because he can see the memories of objects he touches. He's brought in as a special contractor to investigate an explosion at Hulong Labs. Reading a woman's ring who was caught up in the explosion, Makoto is able to see what happened. A red-haired man being dragged in looks like he caused the explosion. After going home, Makoto receives messages from what he thinks is a virus, and it downloads... Ingress! Well, I, n I never could have guessed that one. His first mission is to save the girl from a hospital she's being trapped at. Makoto has to hurry though, before that mysterious red-haired man's bodyguard, Jack, gets to her first. Arriving at the hospital, Jack attacks Makoto before the target saves him. They run away, and Sarah tells Makoto who she is and all about XM. Even though it just looks like a game, Ingress is real and people who play it are called agents. Agents must pick a side, either the enlightened, who seek to use XM to further humanity, or the resistance, who fear and want to control XM. If three portals of XM are under control by the same side, they create a field, and while under these fields, sensitives can use their abilities. Or in Makoto's case, he can upgrade his ability? Why XM cares what made up side you're on, I don't quite know. You'd think an element wouldn't really care what team you choose, and you'd just be able to use it, but hey, whatever, not my story. But that way, Jack wouldn't actually be able to lose his powers in tense situations. Jack chases them out of the hospital and never loses track of the duo. His sensitive ability is to be able to see a few seconds into the future in order to know his opponent's moves, including where they're going to try and shoot him. But because some people play Ingress in his general vicinity, Zack loses his resistance field and can't find a normal girl in a shut-in, despite being a specially trained Jason Statham type. We then spend a few episodes just running away from Zack until Sarah realizes that Jack has the same enemy as them. Hulong is trying to capture Sarah to use her sensitive ability to... Well, I'm not exactly sure? Hulong doesn't really seem to need her for their plan. With Jack and Makoto teaming up, Sarah gets captured and they have to go across the world to save her. But Hulong has control over the Japanese police and turns them into wanted men, so Makoto is forced to talk to an old friend who can make them counterfeit passports. Basement and into daylight. Don't be. Had some action out here anyways. Let's go somewhere private. You and I have a lot to talk about. And oh my god, Todd Habercorn is in Ingress? Damn, you know what? Damn, this show did its job. Time for me to download the app and blow a month's pay on it. Wait, that means I'd have to cut out Pokemon Go time. Shit. Alright, I'm sorry. Never mind, Todd. Anyway, after getting their documents, Jack and Makoto board a plane for Switzerland to hunt down Hulong. Of course, Hulong sends wave after wave of small units to kill them. Big enough groups to be intimidating, but small enough for Jack to kill all of them on his own. Before bleeding out, one member is told by Hulong that if they're killed, his family will know Hulong's generosity, so that grunt uses his last minutes to crash the plane. Unfortunately for his family, who apparently need money, Makoto can read the plane's memories and safely lands the plane in a lake. Barely scraping by death for who knows how many times now, they rest by a portal. It's here we finally get to see Sarah's sensitive ability. She can communicate with anyone through the portal system. She can enter the substream where all of them connect, and she can somewhat control XM. 
Soon after, they're captured by an enlightened group who wants to kill Jack for being resistant. Their leader introduces himself and tells his friends to stand down. They explain their situation about stopping Hulong and the enlightened decide to help them. This tribe has been warring with Hulong for a long time now and has been protecting a portal that contains Dark XM. Dark XM can be contained to create a temporary body to revive the dead for a limited number of days before self-destructing. Or it can even be used to control minds. Normal XM can influence the mind to do great things like the sensitive abilities, but Dark XM can force the mind to do acts they normally wouldn't. Hulong needs Dark XM to sell an ugly, ugly, ugly new glasses to control people's minds. Jack and Makoto finally make it to Switzerland and confront the head of Hulong, who reveals that Jack is actually a Dark XM simulacra, and that his he has his real body, so if they try to get Sarah back, Jack will lose his real body and die permanently. Being the total Chad that he is, Jack doesn't care what happens to his real body and works with Makuto to defeat him despite his sensitive ability being able to read minds. Plot twist, what a surprise! Dr. Brandt, the mysterious red-haired guy, was still alive and only his Dark XM Simulacra died, and then he tells them to come to his lab. Brandt tells them his glorious plan to create a world without AT fields, to start the third impact to advance human evolution because we are impure and self-destructive creatures. Wait, this is literally just the end of Evangelion. Brandt actually just wants to kill everyone with Dark XM and use Sarah to bring their minds into the XM substream to ditch our bodies and live as one united idea. The show ends just as you'd expect it to. Everyone on the planet ignores team affiliation and plays Ingress together to defeat the Dark XM fields. The world is saved by a massively successful mobile game. Gee, doesn't that just make you want to download it yourself? Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with an anime being created just to sell you something. People might call Ingress the Animation a big commercial, but so is Pokemon or any mecha or shonen anime. I feel a lot of people are going to skip this show just because of the idea that they don't want to watch an 11 episode commercial, but Ingress the Animation is a good, although short, action anime. That seems to be one of the most overlooked shows on Netflix, but maybe time will prove me wrong. Thanks for watching. Check your screen for the 1am anime playlist and a video YouTube seems to think you'll dork out over, or check the description for anything else you need. Well, peace weebs.